Hey, hello. Uh, here we are in the Ocho Verde pasture. This is the bromeliad boa. The snake is also known as the uh, dwarf boa. One of the cooler snakes you'll come across. See how he's connected to this uh, termite nest? That's what I thought it was. I thought it was a continuation of the termite nest. Just to give you an idea of where I am on the farm. There's the gate and there's the house. I'm like right, I was going through the gate. You can see that it's open. And I just happened to look back at this tree for some reason, probably as I was shutting the gate. And I saw this Panama boa also known as the bromeliad boa because it it's, lives in bromeliads. It's tiny, you know? Look at that guy. Uh, we've seen one other, actually about 25 meters from here, uh, back in maybe 2009? No, we didn't have the property in 2009, maybe 2011. That's uh, probably when we had it. It fell. It came down with a big clutch of uh, palm branches. He's probably two meters long. Probably. About two meters, two feet. I'm a little excited here because you don't see these snakes very often. At least I don't. They've got a very distinct pattern on their back. It's almost diamond shaped, but it's a double diamond. We also found a skin of one uh, up in one of the cabins. I've found a couple of skins up there. Only one was fresh enough to identify it as uh, this uh, Panamanian or Bromeliad dwarf boa. It's pretty hard to photograph. He's on a white... Um, some white uh, lichen on this tree. And my light is, let me see if I can make some adjustments to my light. There we go. Very cool snake. Hell yeah. Ocho Verde. This is uh, December 13th. No, December 12th. 12 12, 2018. Just want to show you how small this little boa is. See, this is my hand. It's really just a tiny little boa. Maybe. What is that, a quarter or half an inch thick?
and it slowly disappears into the moss. Good night. Very cool.